In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body and blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which He is offended, and through the infinite merits of His most sacred heart and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defendinos in prerio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperatiri Deus supicesta precamor, tuque princeps minitia celestis, satana mariosque spiritus manignos, Que perdizione manimarum per vacanto di mundo, divina virtute in infirm di trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these glorious mysteries, let us ask for those most in need of hope, and for those who do not believe, so for the gift of faith of those who don't yet believe. This is the eighth day of our preparation for the total consecration of Jesus through Mary, which I'll be continuing right at the end of the rosary. And we pray in thanksgiving for Olivia, who turns nine years old today. So congratulations, Olivia. She prays with her mother, Karina, from Canada with us as part of this Rosary Crusade. So Olivia, congratulations on being nine years old. I'm asking everyone right now from throughout the world to pray for you on your birthday, that you might grow in holiness, that you might make the heart of Jesus happy each day, and that you might give Our Lady joy as your mother in heaven. And then also for Sebastian, who's receiving his first Holy Communion today, and for many others, birthdays and celebrations, but I'm just going to mention explicitly Sebastian and Olivia for this morning among the children praying with us. Then in Thanksgiving for, this comes from, from England, and so a reminder of all those good people praying with us from England, she says, in thanksgiving for the success of the surgery and healing for my sister, Margie. This is after having taken out a huge tumor. I, I express my gratitude toward the Blessed Virgin Mary and to everyone who prayed with us. Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade members have always been in my daily prayers. Ave Maria, God bless. And then for a young couple who has been trying for years to have children, that God might bless them according to his holy will with children. And last but not least for little Vivian, who's now three and a half years old, uh, someone we've prayed for in thanksgiving for, for very particular graces for her health as she's growing as a little girl. St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer Thee the most precious blood of Thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal Church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of hope. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, all glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, 
and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Regina Celi Laetare Alleluia Qui aque meruisti portare Alleluia Resurrexit sicut ixit Alleluia Ora pro nobis Deum Alleluia Gaudet letare virco Maria, Alleluia. Quia surexit Dominus vere, Alleluia. Oremus. Deus, qui per resurrectionem fidi tui, Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, muletificare dignatus es, presta quesumus, ut per eus genetricem Virginem Mariam perpetue capiamus gaudia vitae. Perium dem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour His graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. And on this Sunday, because we're going through the 33 days of the preparation for the total consecration to Jesus through Mary, in place of the, the regular Sunday sermon and the readings, I'll be continuing with the teaching of St. Louis de Mumford. And you'll see today he's going to go into a key part of the, the heart of the devotion. He's going to begin explaining today. In case you joined us late or you weren't with us yesterday, I know some people pray with us just on Sundays or just on one day of the week, I wanted to express my heartfelt gratitude for all of your prayers, for my studies, and for the bar exam. I just found out uh, yesterday that I passed the bar. I'm very happy to report that I am about to be able to provide civil counsel in addition to canonical counsel, which is very helpful in the situation in our church today. Uh, in the very difficult times in which we're living, there are many advantages to also being able to wear the civil lawyer's hat, even if the vast majority of the time I'll, of course, be acting, uh, praying the rosary or the mass or things that don't require legal training. This eighth day of our preparation for the total consecration to Jesus through Mary, St. Louis de Mumford is going to look at what it means to be a slave of Jesus Christ. So this is the second point. You recall yesterday he went over the first point about Jesus being the, the focus, the key of every single devotion. Everything should be focused on him. Now he's going to explain this concept of slavery. We must conclude from what Jesus Christ is with regard to us, that we do not belong to ourselves but, as the Apostle says, are entirely his, are his members and his slaves, whom he has bought at an infinitely dear price, the price of all his blood. Before baptism we belong to the devil as his slaves, but baptism has made us true slaves of Jesus Christ, who have no right to live, to work, or to die, except to bring forth fruit for that God-man, to glorify him in our bodies, and to let him reign in our souls, because we are his conquest, his acquired people, and his inheritance. It is for the same reason that the Holy Ghost compares us to trees planted along the waters of grace in the field of the church, who ought to bring forth their fruit in their seasons, or to branches of a vine, of which Jesus Christ is the stock, and which must yield good grapes, or to a flock of which Jesus Christ is the shepherd, and which is to multiply and give milk, to a good land of which God is the laborer, in which the seed multiplies itself and brings forth thirty-fold, sixty-fold, and a hundred-fold, 
Jesus Christ cursed the unfruitful fig tree and gave sentence against the useless servant who had not made any profit on his talent. All this proves to us that Jesus Christ wishes to receive some fruits from our wretched selves, namely, our good works. Because those good works belong to him alone, creati in operibus bonis in Cristo Jesu, created in good works in Christ Jesus, which words show both that Jesus Christ is the sole principle and ought to be the sole end of all our good works, and also that we ought to serve him not as servants on wages, but as slaves of love. I will explain myself. Here on earth, there are two ways of belonging to another and of depending on his authority, namely simple service and slavery. What we mean by a servant and what we mean by a slave. By common service amongst Christians, a man engages himself to serve another during a certain time at a certain range of wages or recompense. So what he means by servant is essentially, we would say today, an employee, someone who's working for someone for a certain amount of time, for a certain rate of wages or recompense. By slavery, a man is entirely dependent on another for his whole life and must serve his master without pretending to any wages or reward, just as one of his beasts over which he has the right of life and death. There are three sorts of slavery, a slavery of nature, a slavery of constraint, and a slavery of the will. And as a side note, I know today many people are very sensitive. Of course, St. Louis de Mumford is not promoting slavery uh, in the common sense. He's using what has been done, what is done in his time to help us understand what we, who we are towards our Lord Jesus Christ. So he says there's a, a slavery of nature, a slavery of constraint, and a slavery of the will. All creatures are slaves of God in the first sense. As scripture says, Domini est terra e plenitudo eius. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it. So what he means is we were created, everything we are comes from God. Everything belongs to him. It's all his. We were created by him. And so we belong completely to him. Uh, He's using the term slaves as his slaves, as his property, as his possession, simply by the fact we're created. Second, the demons and the dams are slaves in the second sense. So they're compelled uh, to, to obey him. The just and the saints in the third sense, that is a slavery of the will of freely choosing to become his slaves. The slavery of the will is the most glorious to God who looks at the heart, claims the heart, and calls himself the God of the heart, that is, of the loving will, because by that slavery we make choice of God in his service above all things, even when nature does not oblige us to it. There is an entire difference between a servant and a slave. A servant does not give all he is, all he has, and all he can acquire by himself or by another to his master. But the slave gives himself whole and entire to his master, all he has and all he can gain, without any exception. The servant exacts wages for the services which he performs for his master, but the slave can exact nothing. Whatever assiduity, whatever industry, whatever energy he may have at his work. The servant can leave his master when he pleases, or at least when the time of his service shall be expired. But the slave has no right to quit his master at his will. The master of the servant has no right of life and death over him, so that if he kill him like one of his beasts of burden, he would commit an unjust homicide. But the master of the slave has, by the law, a right of life and death over him. And once again, this is not a recommended practice, but he's talking about what what has been done, what was done then. Has a right of life and death over him so that he may sell him to anybody he likes or kill him as if he stood on the same level as one of his horses. Lastly, the servant is only for a time in his master's service. The slave is for always. There is nothing among men which makes us belong to another more than slavery. There is nothing among Christians which makes us more absolutely belong to Jesus Christ and his Holy Mother than the slavery of the will, 
according to the example of Jesus Christ himself. And so that he's taking this from Scripture, of course, where our Lord says he freely chose to take the form of a servant who took on, who took on him the form of a slave for us. Formam servi accipiens comes from St. Paul. And also accord to the example of the Holy Virgin, who is called the servant and the slave of the Lord. The apostle calls himself as by a title of honor, servus Christi, and the, the Latin could be translated as a slave of Christ. Christians are often called in the Holy Scriptures, servi Christi, slaves of Christ. Of course, it can be translated servant as well, which word servus, as a great man has truly remarked, signified in old times nothing but a slave, because there were no servants then, like those of the present day. Masters were served only either by slaves or by freedmen. It is this which the Catechism of the Council of Trent, in order to, to leave no doubt about our being slaves of Jesus Christ, expresses by an unequivocal term in calling us Mancipia Christi, slaves of Jesus Christ. Having said all of this, I say that we ought to be to Jesus Christ and to serve him not only as mercenary servants, but as loving slaves who, by an effect of great love, give themselves up to serve him in the quality of slaves for the simple honor of belonging to him. Before baptism, we were the slaves of the devil. Baptism has made us the slaves of Jesus Christ. Christians must needs be the, either the slaves of the devil or the slaves of Jesus Christ. What I say absolutely of Jesus Christ, I say relatively of our Blessed Lady. Jesus Christ, having chosen her for the inseparable companion of his life, of his death, of his glory, and of his power in heaven and upon earth, has given her by grace, relatively to his divine majesty, all the same rights and privileges which he possesses by nature. Quote, all that is fitting to God by nature is fitting to Mary by grace, say the saints. So that according to them, Mary and Jesus have but the same will and the same power, the two have the same subjects, servants and slaves, but in our Lord by nature, our Lady by grace. We may therefore, following the sentiments of the saints and of many great men, call ourselves and make ourselves the loving slaves of the Most Holy Virgin, in order to be by that very means the more perfectly the slaves of Jesus Christ. Our Blessed Lady is the means our Lord made use of to come to us. She is also the means which we must make use of to go to him. For she is not like all the rest of creatures, who, if we should attach ourselves to them, might rather draw us away from God than draw us near him. The strongest inclination of Mary is to unite us to Jesus Christ, her Son. And the strongest inclination of the Son is that we should come to him by his Holy Mother. It is to honor and please him, just as it would be to do honor and pleasure to a king, to become more perfectly his subject and his slave, by making ourselves the slaves of the queen. It is on this account that the Holy Fathers and St. Bonaventure way after them said that Our Lady was the way to go to our Lord. Via veniendi ad Christum, esta propinquare ad ilam. Moreover, if, as I have said, the Holy Virgin is the Queen and Sovereign of heaven and earth, then is it not true what has been said by St. Anselm, St. Bernard, St. Bernardine, and St. Bonaventure? Has she not as many subjects and slaves as there are creatures? Imperio Dei omnia subinciuntur et virgo, ecce imperio virginis omnia subinciuntur et Deus. So those Latin words from the saints saying that, that everything is submitted to Our Lady uh, by grace, uh, but by nature to God. It is not reasonable that among so many slaves of constraint, there should be some of love who of their own, is it, sorry, is it not reasonable that among so many slaves of constraint, there should be some of love who of their own goodwill and the quality of slaves should choose Mary for their mistress. What? Are men and devils to have their voluntary slaves and Mary to have none? What shall a king hold it to be for his honor that the queen his companion should have slaves over whom she has the right of life and death 
because the queen, because the honor and power of the one is the honor and power of the other. And yet, are we to think that our Lord, who is the best of all sons, has divided his entire power with his holy mother, and shall take it ill that she too has her slaves? Has he less respect and love for his mother than Ahasuerus had for Esther, or than Solomon for Batsabe? Who shall dare to say so, or even to think it? But whither is my pen hurrying me? Why am I stopping here to prove a thing so plain? If we do not wish to call ourselves the slaves of the Blessed Virgin, what matter? Let us make ourselves and call ourselves slaves of Jesus Christ, for that is to be the slave of the Holy Virgin, inasmuch as Jesus is the fruit and glory of Mary. And it is this very thing which we do by the devotion which we are to hereafter to speak of. And so we'll go on now to the third point tomorrow, but that gives you St. Louis de Mumford's thought about this free choice. He uses the term slavery, but this free choice out of love, a choice of our will to belong completely to Our Lady, not, not for payment, but to say, please do with me as you will. I belong completely to you so that I might belong more fully to Jesus Christ and give all honor and love and glory to him. And so may you have a very joyful and blessed remainder of your Sunday. And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the Holy Rosary. God bless you.